another edition of Trails of Doom. Today we're going to talk about what you need to carry if you're playing MagFed. Uh, I get this question a lot on my channel. I've never really made it. What kind of gear do you use? Because I'm about as cheap as they come. So personally, when I went to get a vest, I just looked online and found the cheapest vest I could get. And I think I paid like 19 bucks for mine. Um, it's just an inexpensive molly vest. Um, the, the key is being able to have the molly attachments on it so you can put I use drop pouches um, I got this one at an army surplus store for like four dollars and I think I got this one for like three dollars so they're two different colors doesn't really matter I wear camo whenever I play real tree everybody pretty much knows I mean I've worn these same pants for probably 14 years um, and I've got Realtree gloves and Realtree everything, um, but I wear knee pads, I wear a cup, because you will get shot there if you play a lot, um, but one of the nice things is when you have a vest like this, you can run your air on your back, which is what I do, um, and I use a remote line, so this is the tank that I use, I use a, uh, I like a big tank because I hate standing in line to get refills, so this is a 90-4500, so the biggest tank you can get, and this is the Ultralight Empire, so it's real lightweight, um, but it's on your back, so you don't really notice it, but the lighter the better, and then I always make sure you get a, a remote line that has a slide check, where you can, you can, that's off, that's on, so you can disconnect it from your gun just by doing that and disconnecting the air off your gun so you can sit your gun down while you're playing and then just stick that in your pocket. I did see something really cool the other day. Somebody took one of the attachments that, that goes on your gun and he put it, he drilled a hole through it and he put it on a key ring and attached it to his vest and that way he can just plug it right in. Otherwise you end up with this thing slinging around if it falls out of your pocket and feels like you have a tail. So. That's, that was a kind of a cool mod that I saw somebody do. So I'm going to do that when I get some time. Um, but people always ask me, which do you prefer? Do you prefer CO2 or compressed air? And honestly, I've played CO2 for so long, I know how it works. Um, most fields, CO2 is cleaner because CO2 is purchased to use um, for welding and things like that. And it's just they do a better job of making the air whereas if you're going to a field they're not going to spend the money to buy all the filters needed to make that air really clean because the whole point is just to give you air and it's typically free with your foot you know when you sign up for a field so air is oftentimes dirtier and I found that with my markers especially Tippmann's blowbacks um, I have to clean them more often when I'm using compressed air than I do if I'm using CO2 now CO2 obviously you're getting cold so you know it's harder on o-rings but I change all my o-rings out to Buna or silicone o-rings whenever I get a marker that's one of the first things that I do I polish the internals and I changed all the o-rings out those o-rings don't last as long but with CO2 they work fine because they're made to work in really cold temperatures they're also a higher performing o-ring so they they just perform better so if I have my choice a lot of times I'll take CO2 because I can get a whole lot more shots out of a 20 ounce CO2 tank than I can a compressed air tank. Um, and the nice thing about CO2 is you can tell when it starts to go and because of the way it charges back up you'll be shooting and all of a sudden you notice that your shots are getting shorter so you know you're getting ready to run out. Well you can still play another 50, 100 shots easily with CO2 whereas when compressed air runs out it's out like you're shooting it starts dropping you're done you have hardly any shots left maybe one or two or three left and that's it so CO2 has saved me in many games another sneaky trick that I like to do when you're playing with people that know you that play a lot they'll listen for somebody's gun to brrr, like it's out of air or out of CO2 if you run a slide check you can turn that slide check off and make your gun do that and then switch it back and turn it back on and they'll start rushing you to take you out and you just turn it back on and take them out so it's a fun little trick that I've done many times over the years so it keeps people guessing and then they won't always rush you because they don't know if you're for sure out or not and that's one of the fun things about paintball is being able to just do little tricks on the field and, and see what you can get your buddy to fall for and shoot him out and he's oh I thought I had you uh, nope sorry 
So thanks for watching Trails of Doom. See you next time.